is it it is with a heavy heart that I come here uh, this afternoon to shed some light on the incident that occurred at the United the States Capitol. At approximately 102 hours this afternoon, a suspect uh, entered what we refer to as the North Barricade of the Capitol. Uh, the suspect rammed his car uh, into two of our officers and then hit the North Barricade barrier. At such time, the suspect exited the vehicle with a knife in hand. Our officers then engaged that suspect. Uh, he did not respond to verbal commands. Uh, the suspect did start lunging toward U.S. Capitol Police officers, at, what, at which time uh, U.S. Capitol Police officers fired upon the suspect. At this time, uh, the suspect has been pronounced uh, deceased. Two U.S. Capitol Police officers were transported to two different hospitals and it is with a very, very heavy heart that I announce one of our officers has succumbed to his injuries. We are not able to release any information, names, uh, age, date of birth or anything of that nature at this time because we still have to notify the next of kin. I just ask that the public continue to keep U.S. Capitol Police and their families in, in your prayers. This has been an extremely difficult time for U.S. Capitol Police after the events of January 6th and now the events that have occurred here today. So I ask that you keep our U.S. Capitol Police family and your thoughts and prayers. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to the Metropolitan Police Chief, Mr. Robert Conti, for the Metropolitan Police Department's portion of this investigation. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Robert Conti, Acting Chief of the Metropolitan Police Department. Uh, our members responded uh, to the U.S. Capitol uh, today just after 1 o'clock p.m. Uh, to investigate uh, an officer-involved shooting. Uh, at this time, uh, the Metropolitan Police Department's Homicide Division, as well as our Internal Affairs Division, will now take over the investigation with respect to uh, the shooting uh, death that occurred, as well as the officer's uh, death. Uh, there's not a lot of information that we can release to the public at this time. Uh, but we certainly uh, will be working very closely with our partners at the Park Police, uh, at the U.S. Capitol Police. Uh, at this time, I just want to extend uh, my deepest condolences uh, on behalf of the entire Metropolitan Police Department uh, to all of the officers at the United States Capitol Police uh, for their service and uh, unfortunately for the, the loss of life uh, that has occurred, that have occurred here today at the United States Capitol Police. At this time, it does not appear to be an ongoing threat. Uh, obviously, we're in the very early stages of our investigation. Uh, we need to obviously understand the motivation uh, behind this uh, senseless act. Uh, so the Metropolitan Police Department will certainly be doing that. I know you said the suspect was dead. Is there any reason to know that he was known to Capitol Police or MPD beforehand? Any indication that he was somebody that had been around the Capitol before, maybe spotted, anything like that? It does not appear that he is known to the Capitol Police or the Metropolitan Police Department at this time. Is this a terrorism related Sir? Is this a terrorism related incident? It does not appear to be terrorism uh, related, but obviously uh, we'll continue to investigate uh, to see if there's some type of nexus uh, along those lines. Will yes. the National Guard's posture change at all? What's their mission look like the next couple of days? Uh, I'll refer that to the United States uh, Capitol Police. Did the suspect say anything? Did you anything? Okay, I can hear everything. I would say that at this time the investigation is still in its preliminary stages, so we don't have that information. And the Capitol Police, as far as its security posture, remains in a steady state at this time. Uh, we are very thankful for our National Guard uh, partnership. Uh, we do have National Guard on the campus, but the security posture at this time remains the same. Chief, you said that the National, you said that obviously the motive, you're still looking at the motive, I understand that. 
any reason to believe that there was any specific target of member of Congress? Was there a specific member of Congress that the suspect may have been trying to go after? Any indication of who that may have been, if that was the case? Uh, we do not have the suspect on file with U.S. Capitol Police, so there's no indication at this time that there is any nexus to any member of Congress. Do you think also there any other kind of motive where yes, there are drugs or alcohol involved? Do you believe you found any of that in the car? We cannot confirm that, but the investigation is ongoing. Any in the, car? Yeah. the suspect did exit the vehicle with a knife in hand, and at that time he started to lunge toward uh, run aggressively toward U.S. Capitol but Police Office. No, that part of the investigation is still ongoing. The scene is still being processed by Metropolitan Police Department, so we will have additional information at a later time. Okay. 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 Did the suspect ever come in contact, and then you mentioned the lunge, but did the suspect come in contact and wrestle with the police officer there? The investigation is ongoing. From what we can see from video at this time, I do not see uh, the suspect uh, wrestling with a U.S. Capitol Police officer, but when he exited the vehicle, the knife was clearly in his hand, and he did start to run uh, toward the officers. So at this time, uh, this is all the, the questions that I am going to take. I uh, turn it back over to Metropolitan Police Department's chief. Again, I ask you to please keep the United States Capitol Police family uh, in your thoughts and prayers at this time. Uh, it has been an extremely difficult and challenging uh, year for us, but um, we will get through this, and we do appreciate the community support. The Thank you. Hey, folks. Uh, we understand that you guys have a lot of questions. Obviously, there's uh, this is a complex investigation. We are going to be putting out more information as we can on social media. And if we decide to do any more briefings uh, later on, we'll, of course, let you guys you know right away. The Thank you. One, one question I have, looking at the, the grand fabric of all of this, they've, USCP has changed their intelligence the way they're sharing it. They, they've been doing what they can to try to beef up the security here, and still they're under attack. What's the answer? Yeah, well, I think, uh, you know, just part of our responsibilities and duties as law enforcement officers, we're, we're here to protect and serve community. Clearly, this was someone uh, who was actively uh, trying to uh, just get at well, whoever uh, or whatever. We just don't know right now. So we have a responsibility to investigate that, to get to the bottom of this, whether the attack was at law enforcement or whoever. We have a responsibility to get to the bottom of it, and we'll do that. Thank you.